Hello everybody, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons here on day four. It's a bit of a cozy stream today. It's a bit cold where I am, so I have my cat with me, bless her soul, and my dressing gown on. So we're just gonna have a cozy day here on Lily Grove. So first things first, um, we actually got a new villager here today. So I'm gonna go and meet them real quick. Here's our completed bridge that we worked on uh, yesterday. Also, I haven't looted all of my stuff yet, so there's um, some bits and pieces on the ground. Don't worry about it. Hey Phoebe, how's it going? Yeah, I've seen you a couple times today. You actually gave me a cool piece of furniture to put outside, so that was nice. Yeah, we have our museum now. It's actually completely opened. I haven't been in yet, so... We'll go look at the museum real soon. So, actually, the villager who's moved in is Cookie, who I asked to move here. I also asked Nana to move in, but I don't know who my third villager is, and I'm going to leave that to be a surprise. So I'm not gonna check the houses so that I don't know who's there. But anyways, here we have Cookie. Hello, Cookie, your wallpaper is beautiful. Nicola, it's just like you said, this place has such great vibes, I'm so glad I moved. I can tell this is where the universe wants me to be, you know? Good things are gonna happen here. Bet some of those good things are even gonna happen to the folks who aren't me. Alright. She's got our little broom, she's cleaning up. Her dress is adorable and Cookie is adorable, so... All is well here. What did I do? Oh, I had a thing to talk to my villagers. Some easy nook miles, that's fine by me. I still need to sell the hot item of the day, which I believe... I think it's a birdhouse today, so I could make one of those and sell it. That would be fine to do, just quick. There's actually a birdhouse outside Cookie's house. But I'll, I'll leave that there, because that was the nice, you know, aesthetic that we were told to put down for one of the plots and I think it looks really nice with Cookie's house so we'll leave things as they are for now. Can always change it up later. Um, so yeah let's go and check out this museum because like I said I haven't been inside yet and I've seen clips and uh, pictures of the museum from trailers and things and from what I can tell I need to move this tree huh? <laughs> From what I can tell, the inside of the museum is huge and beautiful, so I'm very excited to see the museum. Oh my goodness, it's so grand already. Hey sleepyhead blathers. It's okay, bit of a night owl, I'm very much aware. It isn't Nicola, yeah hi, it's me. At long last, the Lily Grove Museum has opened, this very day no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So you, to you, I say thank you. Now allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. Please do, it, it seems huge. So it's split up into all the usual fossils and bugs and fish, I would imagine. Aha, multiple donations. That is great because I have so many things. Fossil fish or bug, I suppose. <laughs> oh man. I have so many things for you, you've no idea. Why? Wow, look at this place. Um, um, oh man, I, I don't know where to go first. Let me look up here. We've got this nice seating area. Isn't this pretty? There's some leaves falling outside. I assume that'll change based on the actual weather, if it's springtime or snowy. Very, very pretty. Let's have a quick look around. Because I have donated a couple things in order to get the museum to the point where it's at now. But I have way more. Oh wow, look at this water. Look at this. Man, we don't have anything in here at the moment, but I suppose this is where like the pond skater will go and things like that. Wow, this place is amazing. There's some tiger beetle hopping around here. Beautiful. All these trees for all these bugs, my goodness. 
some palm trees as well. Man, I love the water. It's even got a little fish in it. So cool. Oh, wow. This room is huge. Oh my goodness. Why, this is a big old tree, huh? Incredible. There's a bench back here, I guess we could sit at if we wanted, all the way back in the corner. Amazing. All right, let's go head up through here. Where is this gonna take us? Oh my goodness, look at all this. The wharf roach, the hermit crab. Oh wow, look at that little space they have together. Lots more containers through here. Oh my goodness, this place is huge. I can't get over it. Where does this bit connect to? Was there another doorway? Oh, this is the butterfly room. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Wow. <laughs> I can't get over this. It's just, it it's so beautiful. There's so much to it. Oh man. I'm having a moment here, friends. I'm just like, I'm so overwhelmed. So this is back to the, the main area here. Um, was there another? I think I maybe missed some bits and bobs in this room up here. Gosh, this is, I mean, like I said, I saw clips and stuff from the trailer, but honestly, this is just crazy. Yeah, there's a little bit up here that I, I didn't get to see. Oh, look at these guys. That's the fly. Look at him rubbing his little hands together. <laughs> okay, cool. So, oh my gosh, that's just a third of the museum that we have just witnessed. <laughs> Let me go and look at the other rooms. Perhaps I should bring some stuff to donate before we look at the other rooms because I would love to see this place filled up with more stuff. So what I'll do is I'll run back to my house really quick and grab a few things and then we'll bring them all over here and donate a bunch at a time and then we'll have a look around when it's a little bit more full. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed already just by that tiny glimpse at the beautiful museum. Whew. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think. Last night, um, I finished all the housing plots and I actually got access to fencing. As you can see, I put a little bit of fencing around my house. I will have the space at the back here so I can jump over the river at ease. So yeah, the, the fencing and placing it is really cool. It's easy and it all joins up really nice. You can make corners and stuff. So, so far, the fencing's pretty awesome. And I actually got a couple more fencing recipes. Let me see what they, where they come under here. So I can make some more different types of fence, which is pretty cool. And the other thing is last night I actually met Wisp, um, who's a character that's been in lots of Animal Crossing games. Um, he's a little ghost that comes out at night and we kind of bumped into each other and spooked each other and scared some of his spirit away. So I had to gather up um, little fragments of his spirit and bring them back to him and he gave me a piece of furniture. So that was actually a really cool encounter. Um, which I think can happen just at night time because he is a spooky little ghost so he comes out at night. So that was fun as well. Um, and actually this morning um, I found a really cool island when I was out and about um, traveling with a Nook Miles ticket and it was an island that had a pond in the middle and in the pond and in the ocean, it was really common to catch pieces of trash. So I caught lots of old boots and tin cans and such. And I actually made, I'll show you here, I actually made quite a few pieces of furniture that uses, um, you know, the tin cans and stuff, including this wallpaper and flooring that's like a garbage heap. So I spent a bit of time there collecting resources and that was really cool. I also made the recycled boots from two boots as well, which is a hilarious recipe. 
But um, while we're here, let me grab some stuff. Shall we focus? We should probably focus on the fish first because we kind of had a little, a little look in the museum. So let me just grab some fish, see what we can fit in our inventory and we'll go and donate it all to Blathers and we can take a look. And I also have um, a stash of fossils that I need to give to him as well. So that's probably quite a lot, a lot of stuff. Yeah, look at all these fish. He is going to be over the moon happy. I hope so anyway. He'll be less happy probably when I come by with all the bugs, but we can do that later. Let me head over there quickly. That's the other thing. Um, the villagers houses are now actually houses instead of tents because we've kind of upgraded our island a little bit here. So they're actually living in proper accommodation as opposed to tents, which is very cute. Um, I've been inside Pierce's house. I haven't been inside Phoebe's house yet. Hello Blathers, I do apologize, it's me again. All right, I would like to make a donation, please. And I would like to donate everything I haven't already donated. So these guys I can sell. I was just holding on to everything because I wasn't sure what I had donated. Although now there is um, a really cool mechanic where on the bug, on the Critterpedia, when you look at bugs, it tells you, or bugs and fish, sorry, it tells you whether or not you've actually donated them to the museum now that it's built. So that is fantastic. Um, so that should be all of the fish, one would hope. So what I can do is check my Critterpedia and it has this little owl symbol next to all of the names. So for example, I haven't donated an emperor butterfly yet, but with regards to the fish, if I quickly go, th oh, whoops. If I quickly go through it, everything should be donated. And if it's not, I can just go and catch another one basically. So this is where we're looking for fish at the moment. So yeah, I'll need to grab um, my fossils and I'll need to grab the rest of my bugs as well. But let's take a quick look at the aquarium. I say quick, I, I feel like I could spend hours in this place. It's so overwhelmingly gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh wow, look at this guy, he's huge. I actually caught him on the very first day and it was a complete surprise to catch, you know, this, this rare fish. So we've got these tanks along the back wall here. Oh wow, look at this huge tank. Some big fishies are gonna have to live in there. Got this little couch so we can look in comfort. Oh man, it's so cool. All these little ones down here. Man, I need to catch a koi carp. I bet it would look beautiful in there. I love how the camera pans around so you can see everything properly. Oh, here's the fire exit, very important. Look at these goldfish. All right, let's check out this top room next. <laughs> Fish this way. I love the sign, that's so perfect. Oh wow, oh man, it's the ocean fish. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, look at this over here. Oh, it's like a glass, <laughs> a glass bottomed room. Oh, that's so cool. You can go through the tunnel and everything. Oh man, this is so awesome. Are we gonna have like all the sharks and stuff up here? Oh, look at all the sea butterflies. Look at them go. I like that there's multiple of the same fish. It gives it a little bit more personality for some of the smaller fish that you don't get to see very well. What's through here then? Oh my. Oh wow. I feel like this might be where the sharks go. You can like poke your head through the holes. Hello. <laughs> oh, here's there's a horse mackerel. We do have something in here. More seating area. Very nice. 
We can take a look from down here. Oh yeah, that's gonna look great when that's full. Wow, it's it's so beautiful. <laughs> I just I'm so overwhelmed. It's it's gorgeous. So we can go down here. It looks like there's some other things to display here, which is interesting. Hello, Mr. Football Fish. Look at him go. Cool. All right, well, that's um, the fish exhibit. So let's go grab some fossils, shall we? And see how many of them we can donate. Hopefully quite a few. I'm not expecting to complete any dinosaur bones just yet. But, you know, we might get some individual exhibits as well. Something like the trilobite or the, the ammonite or the dinosaur footprint or the egg, things like that. So once again, I'll have to run back to my house and we'll just grab the stuff out of storage. That'll be just fine. So speaking of my house, I actually upgraded um, yet again. I paid off my loan. So I actually have another room uh, accessible through the back of my house right back here. Don't have anything in it at the moment. I don't really have that much furniture, but it's nice just to have, you know, the other room going. My next loan is something like 340,000 bells-ish, something like that. So I won't be paying it off uh, today. In fact, I'm not really in a huge rush to pay it off. Um, I feel like I'm quite comfortable slowing things down a little bit. Um, let me grab all these unidentified fossils and then the two that we've identified before, before the museum was starting to be built. Let me grab all these bits and pieces here. Excellent. How are we looking? Oh yeah, loads of stuff. And if we do get duplicate fossils, it's okay because we can always sell them for a decent bit of money. And look at all this stuff I need to pick up from my... This is how I kind of scavenge my town is I, I shake every tree so that something falls out and then I chop the three wood. That way I can get all the wasps that I need and all of the furniture and bells and whatnot. So it all just works out real nice but it does mean I have to pick everything up still. Um, sorry Blathers, I will leave you alone after this, I promise. Um, I would like to assess some fossils, please. Do I have to select them all? I do. That's okay. We have 12 fossils. Good luck, have fun! <laughs> no pressure or anything. Rare fossils! Absolutely, we'll consider it. Thank you, my friend. All right, let me see how many I can donate. Oh man, look at all this stuff. If we get duplicates, I think he'll just give them back to me. There's quite a few. Oh look, we have two amber already. There's quite a few new dinosaurs by the looks of things here. Several things I know. Are they all individual? Quite possibly. All right, uh, let's go see what we just put into the museum because that was a lot of stuff. Oh, we did a thing, a Nook Miles. Fossil assessment, yeah. We've now assessed um, 16, was that? Nice, four every day, you know. <laughs> Like tradition, gotta dig up those four fossils every day. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is the fossil exhibit. Guess we have all the small ones here. Oh! The amber. Why is there a really... Hold on, are we just gonna ignore this really spooky spider thing? <laughs> What's that all about? Can I, like, read about that at all? Um... That's not concerning. <laughs> I don't know why there's a spooky spider, but hey ho, let's ignore the spooky spider. Oh wow, I love all the lines on the floor so you can like follow it around. Amazing. 
Oh hey, we've... Oh no, I was gonna say I thought we'd completed it, but it's, it's missing its head. <laughs> I thought it was just like a turtle shape. Oh wow, look at all this. Oh look, it's got the little one. Amazing. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh, look at this. Meteor impact. Man, the museum is so cool. This is gonna look so incredible when it's all finished. So we've got stairs going up here. I love the sound of the metal floor when you walk on it. Yeah, you can really get a proper look at all these fossils. The museum is phenomenal. Honestly, this has been the best part of New Horizons for me so far. Oh look, it's... <laughs> look at all these animal shapes. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> and then there's me at the end. <laughs> oh man, I love that. That's so cool. Got one piece of fossil here. Can sit on the sofas if we like. Wow. So there's this lower part here. Let's see where this goes. Ah, back through here. Cool. Oh my goodness, this place is ridiculously cool. I mean, wow. <laughs> I am just so overwhelmed. Look, you can walk underneath and everything. Oh man, so cool. I suppose real quick, I'm gonna go and grab the remaining things that I have to donate to the museum, just so that that's done. And I'll put all the bugs in, because we've done fish and fossils, so now we need to do some bugs. And I'm really sorry, Blathers, I apologize in advance for making you look at all of these disgusting bugs. <laughs> But it has to be done, my friend, for science. I hope you understand that. Man, the fencing is so cool. I'm, I have so many ideas for creating cool gardens and little areas and stuff that are fenced off. All right, we need to grab the rest of the creatures so we can donate all of these. And then hopefully I've not missed anything and everything that I've caught so far in my Critterpedia will also be in the museum. Um, I'll double check my Critterpedia just to make sure that that is the case. Wasp, honeybee, pill bug. Oh no, my pockets are full. Can I put anything away real quick? I've got this present which I got from a balloon. Clay, I can put that away. Put in storage. I can put my medicine away, my watering can. Don't need that right now. That should be fine. You grab the spider, the centipede, and the pill bug. Yeah, it's a good thing about um, chopping down and harvesting all of my trees every day is I was really able to find the um, bagworm and the spider really easily. They just popped right out, so. Because I remember having trouble in New Leaf with catching the bagworm. It was one of the last bugs I needed to catch. And I would do laps and laps of my town trying to find it. And for whatever reason, it just would not pop out for me. So I was really happy to see it in this game. I've seen a couple actually. So let me donate what I can here. All these butterflies and bees and wasps and beetles. Caught a snail today, which is pretty cool. Snails are very cute in this game. It was raining on an island that I visited and he was sitting on top of one of the rocks, just chilling out. So I caught the snail. Um, that's everything, thank you. Jolly good. And I'm just gonna take another quick look at the bug uh, section because it's so pretty and now I've caught even more things. Wow. I want to go back to the butterfly house. That was just mind-blowing. There's just going to be more butterflies in here now as well. Oh! Wow. Oh! Wow. Look at them all go! Oh my goodness. So pretty. There's the snail as well and the ladybug. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. 
So every little panel has different butterflies. There's the tiger butterfly. Common, yellow, emperor. Oh gosh, I love the butterfly room. It's probably my favorite part of the museum, I think. It's just so pretty. Ooh, nice place for the orchid mantis. There's the moth and the pill bug and centipede in there. I see them next to the can. That's quite funny. All the kind of gross bugs just chilling in there. Orchid mantis, beautiful. Oh, look at this. There's a nice place for the, uh, the mole cricket. Oh, I like that a lot. That's funny. I guess we'll have ants here or something. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Look at you. Oh, I love this area back here with like the little microscope. It's awesome. I suppose I could check this. The paper kite. Fly. I kind of thought the moth would be on that lamp, but um, there's somewhere else. Let's see, do I have anything in here? Oh, I see him back there. That's the tarantula looking really spooky. This is the wharf roaches at the beach and the hermit crab. We saw them earlier. I love all the tiny little wave breakers in there. Those are really cute. Oh, look at this water area. It's so beautiful. Um, what's going to be on this big tree? I can't even imagine. I suppose lots of beetles. Ooh, the spider's here. <laughs> That's kind of cool. He just like springs into action. There's a bagworm. Wasps, of course, on the beehive. A little beetle on the log as well. Hello, Mr. Honeybee. Oh man, this place is gorgeous. I am so happy. All right, I could spend hours in here, but I'm going to leave it for right now. But I am, I'm just overwhelmed by the museum. It's, it's amazing. I love it so much. So, so much. So yeah, we have our fully fledged uh, museum here. Definitely need to move this tree. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went and spoke to Cookie, who is our latest villager. There hasn't been anything posted on the notice board yet. Um, so I guess all of this stuff is duplicates, so I can go and sell this to Timmy and Tommy. Make a little bit of money. And also, I think Nook needed to talk to me as well, so we'll go see him after I've done this. Uh, you can take some fishies and bugs and this amber fossil as well. Yeah, 5,000. Decent amount of money. Thank you very much, lads. See you later. Alright, let me go and see Nook. He mentioned he had a DIY workshop to do with customization. So I'm gonna go see that. We might also have a ceremony to go to. I'm not sure. Hello, my dude. Um, yes, lots of stuff to do. About that workshop. Let's talk about that first. Yes, customization sounds awesome. How are you going to teach me this is the question. Alright, let's listen. First you'll need the item you want to customize along with the required number of customization kits. And you'll customize your item at a workbench. Designer color will change in the blink of an eye. Sounds good. A wooden wardrobe. Okay. So this means we can change our outfits, which is very exciting. All right, let's get making. Get the old Nook phone out. Beep boop, beep boop. Perfect. Okay, how does one make a wooden wardrobe? It said take workshop there, I'm not sure if, ah. So I need 12 wood, okay. You go grab some materials from my house and then we'll head straight back here. 
I should really make a workbench for inside. They do give you a recipe for a small wooden one that kind of matches the rest of the furniture, but I haven't made it yet. So let me just go into storage and grab some bits and pieces. I will just grab a little bit of everything because who knows what we may need. I've actually gathered up quite a few golden nuggets, which is exciting. But yeah, I'll just take a little bit of everything and we'll see how that um, goes for us. We need 12 regular wood to make this wardrobe, which is just fine. I suppose I could make it out here. Yes, let's craft. Yeah, here I could make the mini DIY workbench. That'd be kind of cool. Um, order obtained. All right, let's craft. Awesome. All right, let's go see about how we can customize. Very exciting stuff here. You can put patterns on things, I bet, and change color and everything. Um, I'm ready. Yes, I have the wardrobe. Some customization kits. Awesome. Thanking you. That is an adorable little box. Pull out the wooden wardrobe and start customizing it. Ooh, 50. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have different wood colors. Nice. Um, let me go for... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I like the pink wood. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, let's go for the pink colour. So that used two kits by the looks of it. Nice. Yes, yes, masterfully done. Thank you. As you've just seen, customising items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. Hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. Awesome. Fabric or design? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'll have to check all my furniture that's in my house to see if I can do anything for it. Oh, thank you, Nook. Man, that was really fun. So wooden wardrobe, it doesn't have any indication that it's customizable, but I suppose when you're looking in storage you'll be able to see it, so I don't suppose that matters too much. Um, let me see, we have a ceremony to go to. We're celebrating so many things right now, truly this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony do you want to take part in? Ooh, let's, uh, let's do the bridge first, because that's the more functional celebration, so let's do that one. I don't know if Cookie will come out of her house or not. Oh yeah, she's here. Oh, she's adorable, huh? Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony or honouring Lily Grove's brand new bridge. Woohoo! Thank you. I feel this new bridge is a turning point for the development of our once deserted island. Ignore all the rubbish in the background. <laughs> I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve the quality of life. Oh. My phone. Apologies, friends. There we go. Um, where are we at? Quality of life. Yes, clap. <laughs> My Nook phone's just going off. Don't worry about it. Everyone, please get ready to join me and bring this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready. Got the par party poppers out. Hooray! Woo! Awesome. So happy. Everyone's so happy. Look at us all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Oh, that was adorable. I'm glad Cookie came out because she's still kind of unpacking and everything, right? So I wasn't sure if she would. I did invite two very cute, very pink villagers. So <laughs> we'll have Nana arriving as well. Just to add a little bit of, a little bit of pink, a little bit of springtime to the place. 
Um, let's do another ceremony back to back. Sure, why not? Museum? Heck yes. Splendid, let's get started. Oh, such a good building, eh? And Blathers is here too. Brand new museum. Woo! Lily Grove truly started out as a deserted island, but sim there simply wasn't much here. But now, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. But now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers. <laughs> He'll be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Lily Grove, once again, I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed, indeed overjoyed, by the marvelous, marvelous establishment we are opening here today. Me too, Blathers. It is gorgeous. Who? This could not have been done without you and our considerable and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire us all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say, I do hope you will continue your support to the museum efforts going forward. For sure. Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Let's have a few words from someone whose con contributions made the museum possible. We're talking about Nicola, our resident representatives. Hello. <laughs> Anything to add? Good for us. We did really well here. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments. No problem, Nook. Alright, let's get those party poppers out. Again. Everyone ready? Hooray! Oh, it's so wholesome. <laughs> Look at the girls over there dancing. That's cute. Awesome. Oh, that was really nice. That was really nice and special. Good times. Alright, let me go talk to him again just to see if he has anything else for me to do today. Like I said, I, I did pay off my loan, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that again today because it's quite a lot of money for the next upgrade. Yeah, hi, me again. Been talking quite a lot today. What should I do? That is the question. I can't think of any more advice to give you, Nicola. You've accomplished so much, I'm sure you can find your own ways of having fun and living your best life. Awesome! I guess we're like out of tutorial mode then, kind of. Uh, let me just check the nook stop really quick. So something I did actually was um, because I have a... Whoa, a customizable phone case kit? Whoa, hold up! <laughs> That sounds great! Um, something I did um, was because I have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, um, if you go to the eShop you can download some data to unlock this uh, rug. So I did that and I've ordered it, so that'll be here tomorrow. Um, I've also been keeping up with buying the recipes for the fences here. But heck yeah I want a customizable phone case kit! That's like just appeared I guess after doing the workshop. Alright, we'll get that tomorrow I guess. Man, that is hype. <laughs> I, I want to pimp out my Nook phone, like, yesterday. Alright. Thanks, Nook. So yeah, we've kind of been um, doing all of the things we can do every day here in town. We've been making progress really fast. We already have the shop, museum, we're getting animals moving in. It's really, it's all starting to come together. We have this bridge now, which makes getting around a little bit easier. Do have to clean up today. I need to pick up all my my loot and my resources. But um, yeah, something I did over here. I put up my my bamboo and everything. So when you chop this, you get two different types of bamboo pieces, which are used in different recipes. But Phoebe gave me this stone tablet, which I thought looks really pretty. So I've put that over there for the time being. And also, as a slightly prettier way of storing my turnips, I made a little garden for them back here. So hopefully I'll make some profit off my turnips this week. That would be ideal. But yeah, I just used some leftover fence over there. But I think it could be good to make a flower and crop garden proper, like really try and make it pretty. 
that would be a really good goal to have. And I also tidied up all my flowers down here. I'm still gathering different species and everything, so... Because I have a slightly upgraded watering can, if you stand in this position it waters these six flowers, so I've planted them in little groups in the hope that one, I'll get some hybrids, and two, it's just easier to water everything while it's looking like that. Um, there was one other thing actually that happened this morning, is I bumped into Harvey, and he has invited me to his island where you can go and have photo shoots and use amiibo to invite special characters and stuff, which I haven't tried out yet, but I'm not super interested in it, but I'll probably check it out later. Um, but yeah, I can go visit Harv's Island right now, just so you know that that's an option for me. I do plan on inviting a couple of animals here when I have access to using amiibo cards. And I was thinking about this um, quite a lot, because I, I do have a sort of a dream list of villagers. Um, but I don't want to just invite them all in even though I have their amiibo cards because I, I want to meet a variety of animals and hopefully meet animals that I've never seen before and I think that that's important. So I've decided to invite two of my favourites over when I get the ability to use amiibo cards because I do have an almost complete amiibo card collection and I definitely have the animals that I want to invite over so that's all fine. Also. <laughs> I found two exercise balls, so now they're both outside Pierce's house. His house looks really cool actually. It's very pretty. So yeah, for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and walk around and tidy some bits and pieces up here. So, yesterday um, I fully explored, finally for the first time, all parts of my island because I have the ladder now as well as the pole vault so I could access all of the different height levels. So I basically went around today and just shook every tree and harvested um, all of the wood from every tree and just left it on the ground so that I remembered which trees I'd chopped. And that's kind of been my daily routine and I've managed to gather up quite a good chunk of materials. So it might be a case of that I stop doing that every day if I have too many materials. But I imagine that we're going to have to build quite a few things early on in game, like new shops and things. So for the time being, I am still doing this every day, just to gather materials. And also if I go to another island, if I use a Nook Miles ticket, I will also harvest all of the resources from there as well. Um, Because I'm, I'm looking for different kinds of flowers and stuff, so there's still lots of bits and pieces to get. I do have access to all of the different fruits. There is actually, um, oh I did a, a Nook Miles? Oh maybe not. Um, oh it's a new thing here. Furniture freshener. So more refurbishing. Cool, alright. Um, yeah there's a, a fruit ticket here so I've, I've actually gotten all the fruits. I've planted saplings so I'll get um, all the different types of fruit growing on my island so I completed that. I also completed trash fishing thanks to that um, island I mentioned earlier where you could just fish up a bunch of trash so that was that was really fun to find that. It's, it's definitely unique. Um, I haven't looked into too much the kind of places you can find because I want to be surprised but I have heard people talking about tarantula islands where just tarantulas spawn all the time so you can fill your inventory with tarantulas and sell them for 8,000 bells each, so yeah, there's some potentially very pop, uh, profitable islands out there for sure. But I really enjoyed my trash fishing island, I thought that was hilarious, and I got a bunch of DIY recipes out of it, so yeah, just <laughs> in a really good spot actually. Quite like this rock being next to Phoebe's house. I haven't smashed any of my rocks yet because I'm fairly happy with the placement of them all, but there is one high up on the cliffs that I might end up getting rid of, but I think for right now I'll leave things until I do a big terraforming project because I don't know where stuff's going to be in the future. So yeah, I'm just going to gather up all of these delicious resources. 
I've actually been holding on to my wasp's nest um, rather than selling them because I got a DIY recipe for a honeycomb floor. So I'm assuming there's a wallpaper for that as well. So I'm, I'm saving up my nest so I can use them in crafting. I actually got a duplicate recipe today in my message in a bottle, which was kind of sad, but I do have quite a few recipes going on. Um, let me see. See, I got the, the garbage heap stuff, which I made, which looked really funny. I got the bamboo grove wall, because I managed to pick up some bamboo in this honeycomb floor. So yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting there with, you know, I've bought all these fencing recipes. And of course we've got, you know, lots of other bits and pieces. This bamboo lamp, which is really cute as well. So you can make a little bamboo lamp for your house or outside. Really interesting stuff so far. I think I picked up everything on this side. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Missed this group of stuff in front of the shop. So yeah, I think the only things I need to do today is um, make the hot item for the day. So let me go make a birdhouse and I'll sell that and I can just get a little bit of nook miles out of it. Uh, let's craft. Um, I would like a birdhouse, which is two wood and five softwood. Woohoo! Let me see how much that sells for. I might make some more and try and get some decent bells out of it by selling them at the store. Not sure how I feel about using up all my materials like this, but I do have a decent stock at the moment, so let me see how much this is worth to them. Birdhouse. That's 1680. See, that's not as good as the wooden meter, because the wooden meter yesterday was over 2,000 bells, so probably won't make too many of those because they require seven pieces of wood. I feel like that's not a great deal. But I do get some nook miles out of it. That was one of my double points for today. Oh look, I got one for customizing. Nice. So I'm up at 12,000 nook miles, so I'm doing just fine. Might buy another Nook Miles ticket today just to see where it takes me. I, I find them really fun because you get, you know, a different island every time. And there's always something you can collect from them, so it's worth it. Um, but especially the Trash Island earlier, that was really funny. And because it was raining there, I was able to catch a snail for the first time. So there's definitely lots of benefits that are sort of passive, like if the weather's different, or if there's cool resources to collect, or, you know, something like the Trash Island, which is just such a bizarre thing, but oddly really convenient as well, because it's, you know, you've got the Nook Mile rewards for fishing up trash, as well as get gathering recipes, and I got lots of recipes, so it was definitely fun. Let's do a... woo! pole vault over, over here. We'll start collecting up all this wood. I usually do it in sections. So I'll do the main central area first, then the second level, then the higher level. So I'm, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible in how this is all going. Yeah, just, just gathering materials, you know. So in my experience thus far, um, I've gotten, I think, five wasps' nests every day. I'm not sure about the amount of bells, but I think I got two pieces of furniture as well falling out of trees, which kind of lines up with how it was in previous games. So I'm, I'm just trying to get all of those little things done as well, because you can sell wasps for 2,500 bells. And you can sell the nest too if you want, but like I said, I've, I've been holding on to mine. So if you manage to catch all of your wasps, that's, you know, really good value. What's that, like 12 and a half thousand bells just from wasps every day? It's kind of crazy. And I've been getting the money rock, of course, which is given, you know, 16k or whatever. So money making definitely seems pretty straightforward if you're willing to, you know, put the effort in. 
I actually got, uh, let me see if I can find it because it was really cool. I got a Nook Miles reward. It's probably near the bottom. Um, I got, let me find it. See, I got this one for finding Wisp, which was cool. Um, but I got one for, do, 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 somewhere around here, it must be. Maybe not. I am, um, I caught five wasps in a row and it gave me a reward for it. I can't see it right now. Might be being blind. Here we go, netting better. So impressive when someone can catch five wasps in a row. So impressive in the fact that you'll earn some nook miles if you can do it. And I did it. Uh, it wasn't intentional, I didn't know that existed. I haven't been looking up the nook miles challenges. So that was a nice surprise. Um, good to know that I'm getting better at catching wasps because the first day I got stung a couple times. Not ideal, but definitely getting better. Um, it helps if you have your net out when you're shaking trees just to give you that little bit more time so you don't have to switch your tools or, you know, pull something out of your pockets. So let me just carry on grabbing all this stuff. Yeah, I, I really like this area behind my house. I think it's just the shape of it is really nice. I feel like it could be something really pretty, which is why I've put all this bamboo and this chair up here because I I already foresee it being a really relaxing spot. Um, in the short term anyway. I, I don't know how much of my original layer I'll be keeping when I eventually get around to terraforming, but I think before that there's going to be a lot of planning. So I don't think I need to worry about it just yet. Um, it's, it's just kind of all stuff going on in the back of my mind, depending on how I want to design my place, whether I want it to be really strict or really natural, I'm not quite sure. So we'll be keeping things as they are for a while. Let me just drop off some of my um, materials here, make some more room for any bits and bobs I pick up. And we can store these customization kits as well. Hardwood, softwood. Still need to stock up on regular wood because I did make far too many wood emitters. But to be fair, it did make me a lot of bells. So, you know, it's, it's all about um, what you need at that very moment. Because what I needed yesterday was enough money for me to be able to pay off my loan and making all those mitters contributed to that so I am grateful for that, definitely. Let's just jump over here. I think I'll probably finish collecting all the materials at this part of town and then we'll finish up for today. But we, we have, um, we've made some progress today, it's, it's felt like a little bit more of a quieter day. But I think that's only because so much happened yesterday, you know, we laid down all of the villager plots so that animals could come move in and of course Cookie is moving in so that's great. Hopefully Nana will follow and then we'll have a third mystery islander, don't know who that's going to be. Uh, what was my other piece of furniture? Oh whoops, sorry, I thought that was a piece of furniture. I know I did get another one from a tree. I'm not entirely sure what it was. So that'll be a nice surprise when I go around and gather it later on. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I check the sign, it'll tell me who's moving in. So I definitely want to avoid that. But we have someone moving into this house with the clothesline and the, the stone table. I'll probably take all this stuff back and rearrange it or give it to more appropriate animals, but for right now I'm, I'm leaving it here. I think this is quite nice for Cookie's house. Cookie seems to me like someone who would enjoy gardening and sitting outside and maybe watching the birds. So I think that actually suits her really well. So we'll see who moves in and see if it's appropriate or not, the, the decor that we've managed to provide for them. And then there's another house plot right down here. Cause I kind of grouped these together cause I thought that would be quite nice. So they have um, this water pump and a stool, which is kind of more like a little table and a nice place to lounge next to the beach. This is quite a nice spot for a house, eh? 
right next to the beach. You can listen to the waves. It's very pretty down here. Definitely need to plant some more trees up that way. It's kind of getting a bit bare. But again, I don't want to commit to too many designy things until I have a better idea of terraforming. You know, if I'm doing pathways and if I'm going to move all the houses around, which I know I will. It's just a case of, you know, the game's barely been out. I don't want to burden myself with too many big ambitions straight away because we have years and years and years to perfect this place and make it exactly how we want it. Hey Phoebe, you're just chilling. Just chilling by the river having a good time. It's fair enough. So yeah, we've almost collected all of the bits and pieces from this section of island. Almost, almost. Hey, here's my other piece of furniture. Knew I found it. It's an amp. I've actually come across quite a lot of music related items. I know that the animals can interact with them and play them, so maybe we should set up a stage with a band. <laughs> that might be fun. Hey Phoebe. I want to wave to Phoebe. Oh no. Hold on. Phoebe, you gotta look at me. Whoops. Pressing the wrong button. No, Phoebe. <laughs> Please, I just, I desperately just want to wave at you. Greetings. Hey, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it took a while, but we got there in the end. All right, let me grab this wolf and pull. Jump over the river. So yeah, let's head back home. See, now things are looking a bit cleaner since I've picked up all the stuff off the floor. I'll do the rest of the island later. Hopefully we'll get some hybrids pretty soon. I've already checked and these are just yellow flowers, sadly, but we'll see. We'll see what hybrids happen. So yeah, I think we'll we'll end things off here. We'll sit on the tree stump. There we go. Let me zoom in. Yeah, that looks real nice. Look how peaceful that is. Beautiful. All right, friends, I think that's enough for today. Um, again, some little bits and pieces happened today. A little bit quieter than yesterday. Um, I think I sense that we're shortly coming out of the sort of tutorial area, so maybe tomorrow we'll get a chance to expand resident services from a tent to an actual building. I think that's kind of the next step, really. So I'll be sure to let you know if anything happens before the next stream. And other than that, I'm just going to do some tidying up and relaxing for the rest of the day for day four here in Lily Grove. So thanks very much for watching friends, and I shall say goodbye for now. Take care. Bye.